So, hello everyone, my name is Ebony Coleman and we are with Jaquetta. Jaquetta did the Get This Trust program with us and we are so excited she did. She said yes to us and to herself. And so we're just gonna ask her a couple questions. Um, so Jaquetta, what brought you to Wellness Redefined? Um, so I've always kind of struggled with um, bloating and I can just tell that my gut was not as healthy as I would like it to be. Um, I have PCOS and they also are now linking um, unhealthy guts to PCOS. So when I heard it, I was like, that's what I need. So I just decided, let's try it. Awesome. Awesome. And what did you try prior to coming to us? Did you go see another provider? Did you try any other diets? Um, I haven't seen any other providers, but I did try um, keto. Um, it was successful for me about two and a half, almost three years. And then um, I kind of plateaued and it kind of came a little harder to just kind of stay above ground on that. Um, I had some life changes, stress, things like that. So of course I fell off, but um, yeah, that's the only thing that I tried prior here. Well, you had an advantage seeing that you're uh, fiance is a chef. Okay. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> little cheat code, just get a chef cheat in your life. <laughs> um, so can you share some of your results and it doesn't have to be weight driven, but any of your results like mindset or, um, things you've learned or anything like that? Sure. So it started with our family. Um, we have a chef out Honestly, so he just jumped on board. It was easy for him to kind of reset and make things more enjoyable for the food. So we started with the family as far as turning off devices. Um, we actually are, we always pray for our food, but like, what is this food doing for us? And like, even telling my daughter to like chew the food all the way up, which, you know, those little things were fun tasks for her, but it was also meaningful to kind of understand like the digestion and how much our chewing just really helps. And then actually becoming full because we're taking the time to chew um, and then so of course we started together with some of the routines happy um, movement stretches going outside those little things kind of reset the tone too just for our day like we really like to be intentional in the morning and with it being summer sometimes baby girls not wanting to be up so that was something fun for her like oh we have something to do in the morning um, and then just for me personally, trying to balance the work-life stress, um, balance my own um, bowel movements, water intake, things like that. Um, so I did start taking some of the medication. Well, the pills to kind of help move things along, which made my gut feel 10 times better. And yeah. it's so cliche to say, but you can tell like from the food that you're putting in how you feel. Um, so the bloating essentially was tremendously less not perfect but a lot less than what it was I had my first menstrual completely by myself no hormones which is thankful for me and my family because I'm yes. not fresh <laughs> so, but it was just good overall just to see like our body is meant to heal our, itself but sometimes we don't even reach for that we reach for everything else but our own self so mm. it was good to kind of see that kind of come back um, but yeah, so those were like the key things and the bloating even now is still, I couldn't even know what I would do beforehand. Yeah. And with you being in the healthcare field, like tell us a little bit about, um, the shift of approach as far as like what you were saying, we reach for everything else, like whether that's medication or et cetera, um, the shift in approach as far as going towards healing, coming from a healthcare provider. Sure. So I um, do have hypertension or had, I'm going to just claim it as had. Um, so I haven't always, well, I don't want to sound like a bad patient, but I haven't been taking my blood pressure medication, but I do check my blood pressure and I've let my doctor know that, hey, I'm just trying to see what my body is doing. Um, because one day I did take my blood pressure pill and I felt really dizzy and I was like, Mm. is it high and I took it and it was really low so I was like oh my gosh um maybe I don't need it so not every single day but you know the days that I feel up to it I still listen to my body I do not yeah. take it and then midday I take my blood pressure to see what that's running like so I'll say that's probably been in the last couple of weeks nothing yeah. over amount of time to say a change but I definitely can say I do see a change um my migraines are a little less and that's probably because I'm drinking water. <laughs> I know it's a hard thing to do, but 
Um, I keep my bottle of water with me all the time, even for vacation. It's just easier because as you guys kept saying, it's like detoxing. So I'm like, if I want to continue to keep my gut clean and things moving along and no migraines, like water became literally my thing, even just for a snack or something. Yes. That's awesome. I love that. And as, cause you are a nurse. And so you are, you know, as a fellow nurse, we are this, we're supposed to be the one that gives all the things right. But we're not, right. we're not taught how to truly take care of our body. And we're, we work these shifts that put us in a state of stress. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then what do we give our patients? We give them jello soda, uh, crackers. Right. Um, right. And that's like, like, it's crazy when you kind of have that perspective of like, we're literally giving them inflammation after surgery. Basically. Yeah. And so, <laughs> I mean, jealousy, yeah. I know. <laughs> but it's I like, know, cool to see, like what we can do and what we can be, um, mm-hmm. especially as we're healing ourselves and we have more tools to heal our patients and our clients. So yeah. it's over to you. I'm so proud of you. I didn't hear, I didn't know about all those wins. So amazing. What was yeah. your like weight loss in the six weeks though? Um, 27 pounds. That's awesome. I had actually was like, am I losing weight? And then I weighed myself and I was like, oh my gosh, because I started feeling lighter. But you know, when you're just on the go, you don't recognize stuff sometimes until later. So yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. You're amazing. I'm so glad you said yes to yourself. Um, I'm glad you have the tools that you need to move forward. And again, you can always repeat the program um, on your own or with us, whichever works for you. Um, And there's always other things to do. So if ever patients have bloating, we can always clean up their gut a little bit more. So let us know if you want us to work with you on that. But I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me for sure. All the way. Thank you. (laughs) You're welcome. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jaquetta. I hope you have an amazing weekend and let us know if you need anything. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye.